Just very quickly before this video starts, I uploaded a very important channel update video yesterday and I'm basically just talking about how I'm just gonna stop making garbage clickbait videos. I'm done with all of that and going to actually try to make entertaining content that I will enjoy making from now on. So maybe after you watch this video, consider checking that video out. I think it's really important and let's go on with the actual video itself. This might just be the saddest moment in Godzilla history. Let's start with a little story. So last Friday, I went out to a pretty much empty but big theater to go see Godzilla Minus One with some friends. I have no idea why it was like that, why no one was there. Either people just didn't care about the movie or the theater just kind of sucks. Like maybe its sound system is bad. I don't know because I haven't watched a movie in theaters in years and years. I don't remember what the experience is like because over the pandemic, over COVID, streaming services blew up and that just dominates, you know, movie, TV, entertainment, whatever. Now, fast forward to literally the next morning. So after seeing the movie, I'm like, this is the best movie ever. This is the movie of the year. Now I'm so sad. I'm gonna go sleep. And then I wake up and I see, oh my god, Godzilla Minus One surprise released in Kaiju Universe. And it, it kind of it sucked. Um, its melees were just ungodly slow, and you would just get pummeled completely in a melee fight by just about anything. Arguably the funniest thing was that Godzilla Minus One could get absolutely stomped by Gojira 1954 and Gojira is a requirement for Godzilla minus one, so it should just be weaker. Now, maybe I've said it already, I'll say it again. Godzilla minus one is like the best movie of the year. It's like the best movie ever made, at least based on the movies that I've seen. The last movie that I watched was Nightmare Before Christmas followed by Morbius, and Godzilla minus one I can say is a lot better than Morbius. Anyway, movie aside, and Godzilla Minus One being really bad in Kaiju Universe aside, or at least super underwhelming, especially in terms of close quarters combat, which is to be expected, let's go over some of the changes for Godzilla Minus One, which are really, really good. So in Kaiju Universe, Godzilla Minus One's gimmick is basically not the most health, but like all of its abilities will give it strong regeneration, plus it can regenerate even while in combat, which is pretty movie accurate since in the movie. Just a quick spoiler, by the way, I'm gonna put a tag. If you don't want any sort of spoilers whatsoever, then you can just turn off your volume or pause the video and skip ahead. But spoiler now, in the movie Godzilla Minus One is not really so durable. Like you would expect Godzilla Minus One to be it means a conventional weaponry since Godzilla is just like that, but it does end up taking damage from a mine that is set off in its mouth by the Minesweeper crew. However, it can regenerate extremely fast, so that wound is just gone. So, spoiler aside, now let's talk about the changes. First thing is just health. I mean, okay, it's just rounding the number out so people stop saying that it has 3,000 health. Plus, you get a little more health back for killing people as well because it's like a regen. It's just a complete regen machine at this point. Now, one of the funniest things that I've seen is the knockback, and some of its abilities have seen increased knockback. I found these clips in Kaiju Universe's Discord showing Godzilla Minus One just winning pretty much unwinnable matchups or fights just with the sheer power of knockback's influence, as well as the regen during fighting saving it when it's pretty much just dead like it is one shot from dying and just on a sliver of health it ends up surviving also another really good thing is that now its beams and other attacks that take away its health they no longer damage godzilla minus one as much the damage was reduced almost by half while also getting more damage output in return which definitely makes it a lot less suicidal to use these beams in combat overall godzilla minus one just got quite a bit stronger. It did receive some 
nerfs, obviously to balance out the amount of buffs it was getting, but overall it got a lot more than it lost, so Godzilla Minus One movie is a masterpiece, and also it's not so bad in Kaiju Universe as well.